The United States Army Air Defense Command, on the alert 24 hours a day in defense of America, presents Lieutenant General Charles E. Hart, Commanding General of the United States Army Air Defense Command, Colorado Springs, Colorado, who will speak to you now on the latest Army Air Defense Missile Program, General Hart. In 1945, a top secret project was initiated by the United States Army that revolutionized air defense strategy. The system, which was named Nike after the winged goddess of victory of Greek mythology, moved along under normal research and development procedures until the Korean conflict broke out and it became paramount to advance the ready date of the system. As a result of this increased emphasis, the project was put into testing stages in 1950, and by 1953, the first operational Nike units were placed on site in various parts of our country. For five years, the Nike Ajax guarded important localities throughout our country. And in the July of 1958, was joined by the Nike Hercules, which possesses a nuclear as well as a conventional capability. Already in advanced state development is the Nike Zeus, the anti-missile missile. Nike units are today standing guard over heavily populated industrial complexes and other strategic centers. These weapons comprise the defensive strength of the United States Army Air Defense Command. Yes, these are our deadly deterrents to enemy aerial attack. From underground storage pits they come, armed and ready to fire. A few moments' notice are all these Nike units require before they are ready for action. Nike missile batteries of the Army Air Defense Command, such as this Hercules unit, are on continuous 24 hours a day vigil, ready instantly to meet an attack, regardless of time or weather. The guided missiles of the command defend heavily populated communities, industrial complexes, and other strategic centers. The missile units themselves are located near residential districts, sea and lake shores, and suburban areas. The everyday drilling and training of guided missile units ignore the rush of traffic streaming to and from the city, and the city seldom realizes the role of aerial defense being played so near their homes. The Army's Nike Ajax was the nation's first combat-ready surface-to-air guided missile. Today, it is the principal weapon in the command's nationwide defense web. The Ajax can intercept and destroy any aggressor from any direction in all types of weather. This target is the latest rocket-type drone used in practice firings. Hit by the explosive force of the Ajax, the drone slowly rotates out of control and disintegrates. Now just how does Nike detect and knock down enemy aircraft? The tireless eye of the acquisition radar picks up a far distant enemy plane speeding toward us. Information is sent electronically to the battery control trailer, which transfers it to the target tracking radar. The radar antenna swings to lock on the invader while it is still a great many miles off. It sends the plane's position to the computer. Also, the missile tracking radar sends the missile's position to the computer. Here, an electronic brain computes the point at which Nike and the target will meet.
Now the battery commander gives Nike the order to launch. The missile tracking radar starts sending Nike flight commands. At the point of intercept, the computer gives Nike the burst command. And the invading plane will never reach its objective. One of the most important jobs ever assigned any military installation falls upon the Army's McGregor and Red Canyon Range camps. These firing ranges, located on the plateaus of the Oscura Mountains in New Mexico, are the scene of concentrated missile activity throughout the year. Command battalions spend two weeks each year at these ranges, where they assemble, pre-test, fuel, and finally fire their missiles. The firing process is carried out with live warheads and real targets under simulated combat conditions. This practice, which is evaluated on a competitive basis, ensures that the missile men are trigger sharp and deadly skillful. At Fort Meade, Maryland, the first Missile Master fire control system was established. The system collects information on the location of aircraft and their identity presents this information on electronic displays and distributes this data to the missile firing batteries. It enables the Nike system to function even more efficiently by observing and coordinating the activities of all Nike batteries in the area. When necessary, it directs a specific fire unit to a particular target. It also prevents friendly aircraft from being fired upon by our own weapons. Missile Master a combination of the latest automatic electronic equipment and of human supervision imposed at the most critical points. The Nike Hercules is substantially faster and has a much greater range and altitude capability than the Nike Ajax. Measuring 27 feet in length, the Hercules is powered by a solid propellant rocket motor. The booster, also solid-fueled, is 14 and one-half feet long. The higher velocity of the Hercules permits swifter interception of the most advanced types of aircraft. The capability of this formidable missile makes it one of the most effective weapons in America's air defense arsenal. Hercules in action, flexing the muscles of a space-age army. You have seen the weapons developed as deterrent powers of the Army Air Defense Command. Any aerial threat by a foreign country will be dealt with swiftly by the Nike defense system. With America's first two ground-to-air guided missiles, the Ajax and the Hercules, the Army Air Defense Command has ensured our country that we'll always be prepared. Prepared for any threat that can be formulated by a foreign power. The Nike system is capable of stopping any aircraft or aerodynamically supported missile that exists now or in the foreseeable future. As stored and carried, the weapons emit no harmful radiation and present no radiation hazards to persons living near or passing by locations where they are employed. As more and more Nike sites are constructed across the country, the defense net is drawn tighter, making America safer for you and your family to live and prosper in peace. This is the havoc that is wrought each time the supersonic guided missiles of the Army Air Defense Command are pitted against a target. This is the story of the United States Army Air Defense Command.